Okay, uh, Zamp 1.8.2. This is how you get it down and up and running. So, first thing you want to do is you can jump into Bing, go look for Zamp. Okay, Zamp for Windows. Alright, so we're going to the Apache Friends website. Once we're here, go to the download link, um, grab the zip file. Okay, once you've got that, this will then send you here to SourceForge where you'll then be prompted to download the file. Okay, now when you download it, you will get this zip file. Right click and extract all the files. Okay, so I'll just pause for a second. Okay, so once it's extracted, you'll have this folder here. Double click into the ZAMP folder, scroll down, set up ZAMP that, double click it, let it do its little configuration stuff, and away you go. Next is you double click the ZAMP control file. Okay, I'm going to start mine off in English, like so. Now, if it complains about not being, like if there's any red text that pops up, it normally means that port 80 or port 443 are currently in use. That stops the Apache system from working. So, you need to make sure that if you have Skype up and running, you quit that. If you're on the university systems, you have to stop the web service. Um, that's in the Facebook group, so it's like net stop w3c serves in command prompt, and that'll stop that. So what we do is we start this guy up once you've stopped and cleared these ports. Okay, so once that's up and running, we can minimize it. Go back to our browser. Go to localhost, and now we configure it. So we go to English, security, Halfway down you see the security ZAMP, click on that one. Give this a password, so I'm giving this a password of password. There we go, password changed. Excellent, so now if I go into security, I have my two green bits. Excellent, so from here I can close down my browser. Now I'm going to use um, Visual Studio, so to connect that up, so this is Visual Studio. I'm going to go File, Open Website. Okay, so what I'm looking for is up here on my desktop, ZAMP, ZAMP, it's the htdocs folder that I want. Okay, so I'll just click on open there. Now, because I haven't actually renamed it, I've got all this information um, that's normally there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into this thing here, go in here, and I'm just going to uh, cut that all out, and I'll go up one level and I'll go new folder and I'll go hdocs old and I'll paste it all there okay so what you're after is you're actually after an empty htdocs so if I go back to Visual Studio refresh it's all nice and empty so now if I go to my browser go to localhost it should be empty that is ZAMP configured 